Hello, I'm going to show you how to deploy a new PE router, uh, build a VPLS layer 2 service, and test connectivity as if we were the customer outside of the network um, with the help of Ansible for all of the core services. Um, I have done some pre configuration. Um, I've pre configured OSBF from the direct peer to the new PE router. So uh, the interface going to our new router on router 4 and I've also pre-configured the existing VPLS service for our customer Pink Panther uh, they would like to add a new site down here uh, they want to connect this server to have a layer 2 connection to this site so I've pre-configured their service to have uh, a mesh binding all the way down to what's going to be this new device here and, and this is going to be our PE device so while we wait for that to load up um, there's also an LSP in our MPLS that's configured from router 6 going down to router 9 so those are the, the steps I've pre-configured everything else will be deployed via Ansible um, and then we're going to go ahead and jump uh, to the customer role and pretend that we are the Pink Panthers we're going to set up our layer 2 switch, which is the Cisco image here. And then we are going to configure the host machine for the user. So we'll just pretend that. So this Ubuntu device will be the server that needs connectivity to site B of the customer's network. Um, and we're going to assign this 143. Uh, so this machine is currently in a VPLS service to this customer device going through our core back to this site. So there is a layer 2 service between these two computers or servers, I guess. So there you have it. So from 140 to 141 across the core. So these are essentially plugged in to the same switch, quote unquote, via MPLS. Um, so we want the same thing, but for this new site, so we have this new device we're going to add into our network. Um, so I will go ahead and make this connection to um, my local machine just so we can access it directly. And then this is going to be from 111 to the available port into our core on router 4. Um, and then uh, our provider edge router here is going to be directly feeding the customer device on 112 into interface 00 on the customer switch. Um, the customer switch is going to be handing service on interface 01 to the server. So uh, I'll show you how quick. I can do this with Ansible. This is something I have pre-configured this playbook. So first of all, we're going to log into the node and set up. So I'll show you there's nothing. There's nothing on this new router. You just saw me deploy it. So we'll give it a static address. Okay, so there's my static address. Now I can access this with my local machine. And this is a host, I've already edited my host file with that local address dot 139. So uh, that is reachable via my local machine. So let's jump into my Ansible. So I'll sh show you 
my config that's gonna happen so if you want to pause the screen right now kind of talk about it and you can read about what we're gonna do with Ansible everything that's pre-configured so um, yep take a look at this and this is everything that I've already written in two different playbooks so we'll go ahead and do the first playbook which is the deployment of the box and setting up all the services okay so it's going to change the host name of the box it's going to configure the card and the MDA change uh, the system interface um, going to create an interface to the core which is router 4 we're going to create OSPF traffic engineering Add an MPLS, adding all the interfaces, RSVP, turning that up, creating the LSP from router 9, which is our new box, all the way to router 6, which is where the services are hanging off to the customer. Um, the same with the SDP, binding that to the service, um, and turning up LDP. Now, that's all configured on our box. So, another playbook that I've built. is the services themselves, the layer two VPLS service. So Pink Panthers, VPLS 100. So we'll go ahead and deploy that. So we're creating our customer, it's configuring our ports, handing off to their device, create a VPLS. So that should really be it. So let's take a look, you can see that instantly change um, so we're gonna show our service ID 100 which is the one we made let's take a look at what we got so everything is built this took a little bit of elbow grease on the front end to get the playbook built but once you have them built you can just edit and copy and just tweak to make them do what you want to do um, finding Ansible to be pretty helpful um, especially with deploying multiple labs so I'm trying to just save some configs and mess around with that so this is my service it's built so I have this SDP going to router 6 so this connectivity from here to here is running a layer 2 VPLS through my MPLS now we're adding a new site down here which should connect to this box so the services are built in at the core and at the edge so now we're gonna turn over to our customer so now we're gonna be pink panthers so this is my my switch here um, and this is just I recently purchased the viral images so I am using the iOS layer 2 switch um, so that's pretty handy to have. So let's go ahead and get started on the config here. So uh, first things first, we'll configure our port, uh, trunk port to the new service. So, okay, so make sure this is, Our VLAN 40 will be allowed since we don't know what else will be on this switch in the future. Encapsulation, I'm gonna make this a dot one Q. Um, and then a trunk port, of course. Trunk, okay, cool. And also we wanna make sure the MTU matches uh, the interface. And I Think that's it so we'll just say to site B which we know is this guy over here okay so no shut up interface um, so now we want to do a access port to our server okay now let's see so we want to make Sure that VLAN on VLAN 40 is on here. And I'm gonna do an interface VLAN 40, give this an address. So Okay. 
Okay, let's just give us an address. Now, this switch over here has 1.1, I believe, and this is 1.2, so our site C will be 1.3. shut that and that should be it okay so now we're gonna edit the configuration of our Ubuntu server um, so we'll just assign this a static address so this box is 1.40, this is 1.41. So we'll make this 143. And our switch 1.3. Pretty simple. Light this up. There it is. Okay, so show. Okay. So should be good to go. I'm going to run a packet capture to show the ping request from this server from going through our core. Layer 2 arping over here trying to figure out who is 1.40. So we'll just get this going. Not sure what's going on there. So first things first, let's make sure we got, okay, so we got 143. Ping 1.40. Okay, something's not right yet. Show run. So, um, great. Their VLAN's there. Encapsulation. Oh, there's a problem, I believe. Okay, switch port. Feeling 40. Well, let's make sure our services are up. Okay. Hundred. Oh. There we go. Just took a little bit. So let's take a look at our Wireshark capture. Oops. Guess I gotta troubleshoot my Wireshark here. So when I do this. So server 1.43 is requesting 1.40 and there's a reply. So everything's working. Um, so that took about 15 minutes to deploy a new, new uh, PE router, 
get it into MPLS core 